if we analyze this picture here we have some half tone effects here and then if you notice the picture here the portrait it's also, it's also half tone now the original image or photograph is a colored photograph and then I just change it to a half tone so we're going to talk about that too now in this one here too these are the background here it has a transparency and we also use a, a half tone uh, circles here but anyway we're going to talk about that later so the original image here is this one here okay so now if we compare that here so the first thing we have to do here is to make this image as a grayscale image so first you go to bitmap and then click on convert to bitmap and then in here um, the resolution since we're doing it half tone and we don't want it to be really high resolution uh, 96 dpi would be fine uh, keep it 96 dpi and uh, make it grayscale 8 bit and then make sure the transparent background is turned on to or checked and then click OK now we have a a grayscale image here now in in styles like this in half tones like this uh, it is better to keep the contrast higher looking at this photograph here the grayscale photograph um, the uh, there's not a lot of contrast in this image here so what we're going to do we're going to bump up the contrast so that you will see some highlights here in the in the uh, the half tone effect here see that highlights is the contrast the higher contrast so you we click on the image and then click on the uh, you can go to effects and then click on adjust and then click on brightness contrast and intensity and then in here you're going to have this dialog box here brightness contrast we are more concerned about the contrast so make the contrast higher going to the right side and click on preview in there and as you notice now that there is highlights in here now there's more highlights now I'm gonna bump it a little bit preview and I'll click OK I think we're okay now so now I click on the image and I go to bitmap and then click on color transform so when you click on color transform you have choices here choose half tone so I click half tone and then in here you'll see a preview of what you're getting here so this is the original and this is the the you know the applied effect now this max dot radius is the is the size of the dots okay now if you want to zoom in zoom out here you go to the the center and then you scroll down scroll up and scroll down to zoom in okay so now I'm going to make it let's try to go 8 first and click on preview okay so I'm just gonna zoom in so I click here and then preview again okay so looking at this we're gonna compare it to the original one uh, the the dots is a little bit too big so I'll make it 7 here and I click on preview okay it's getting there I'll try 6 here preview okay uh, let's try 5 okay so I think 5 is fine so if I'm if you're happy with that one like I'm happy with that so I'll click on click OK now I have this half tone image now now 
if you notice the original is the original uh, the color of the dots is kind of orangey okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the the half tone image here that we already applied the effect and then since it's grayscale we can't really change the color to a different color because it's grayscale so what we're going to do is we're going to make this back to bitmap rgb so you click on this go to bitmap convert to bitmap again but this time instead of grayscale we bring it back to rgb 96 dpi is fine and then click ok so now we have a an RGB uh, bitmap. Okay, so I click on the bitmap again and then click on effects. This time we go effects and click on adjust and we're going to replace color. So when you click on replace color, you're going to have this dialog box here and then here you can change the color. Uh, let's say, let's just try green and then click on preview. And you notice it changes, right? Change it to blue, click on preview, changes. Now if I want to match it to this one here, so I'll get the color orange. Let's say this one preview. And yeah, so I'm, I'm good. It's close, the color is close. Okay, and then I'll click OK. Now I already have a colored half tone here just one tone okay now going back here there's like an outline okay on the portrait so what I'll do I'm going to use my Bezier tool okay I'm gonna create a path okay so Bezier tool click here here I'm just going to create a simple outline here and then later on we're going to power clip it and then I can close it close there now I'm just gonna do some adjustment here like this one here I'm going to see if you want to delete uh, a node here just double click on it and it will be deleted and I'm just gonna make this straight okay I'm good now I'm going to power clip it to the path that I just created so I click on the image I know the image is selected because in here in the status bar it says there is the JPEG and I go to effects power clip place inside the container and the container is the path that I just created and I click on this one here there now if I move this here you would notice it's it's already clipped okay. now I'm going to create an outline which is the same color as this one so I click on the eyedropper tool I'm just going to sample this color here or I shall sample this color here and then hold down shift okay well what happened is I sampled the color and see it's here same way, those are the values and then I go to my outline that I just did but I have to hold down shift and go to the outline see that one's the outline okay if if that icon shows up it means to say I'm going to change the properties of this outline to the same color as the one I sampled okay so click 